corruption for the American mind is very different from corruption from the Indian uh, perspective point of view because of the kind of salaries that uh, were paid in government, you know, a little bit of uh, giving tips was quite common and, uh, you know, one could treat that as corruption, but in India it was just uh, considered as extra salary for the people who were very poorly paid. And uh, in large corruption, there are instances of large corruption there, but there, so are there in the United States. You've seen the Enrons of the world and WorldCom and many others, Anderson uh, going under. And uh, that's an issue all over the world, but uh, it isn't so humongous in India as it is made out to be by the Western press. Perhaps if the world is working together as a whole, there will be less of that in all nations. That's so right. You know, I think uh, United States and India can really work towards that, you know, and eliminate not only just terrorism and other things, but really corruptions out of the practice. And today the media in India is as vigilant as the media in the United States perhaps even so more so you know we have something like 400 uh, channels and we have about 40 24 by 7 news channels huh? and they're all out there to get stories on corruption and expose corruption so really everybody has become a lot more vigilant than in the past huh?